Hi, welcome to this episode of Wild Club Geography. We're we'll looking at the changing economic world section in the AQA Geography course, our NE country of Brazil, and the six and nine more questions connected with changing political and trading relationships with the wider world. We've got here the information page, and there's going to be two of these, so pause here if you need to read through this. All the answers today will come from this information source here. We've got the second information page here, so feel free to pause if you need to read through this if you haven't got access to the booklet. The two questions today are, explain why it is important for LICs or NEEs to trade with other countries. Secondly, the other question is, to what extent have political and trading relationships of your chosen LIC or NE influenced economic change? The assessment objectives, AO1, AO2, AO3 will be included in all answers. AO1 is just including good knowledge, good geography stuff, data, geography words, place names, examples. AO2 is understanding the knowledge. Can you explain it with this means that, this results in, and knocking effect of this is due to, because. AO3, make some decisions, show that you understand it. And to do that, you're going to use phrases like significant, important, effective, successful. That shows you've made a decision. As we saw, the first question is a explain command word. To so explain command words, we've got the structure strip here. So number one, introduce. Number two and three, you're going to do some peel paragraphs. And in the green box, you can see what your peel paragraphs are going to look like. Include the explain words, the AO2 words. This means that, this results in. Now, in an explain question, you don't technically need to give a conclusion. However, it's always good practice to give a conclusion. So sum up your thoughts in a conclusion. Feel free to use the multi-tool structure if uh, the extended questions are not great for you. Here's how the multi-tool structure works. It's really based on the evaluate one and look at the positives and the negatives make a final decision. Have a look at the far right hand side. That will give you your structure. So pause here if you need that. The question. Explain why it's important for LICs and NEs to trade with other countries. So explain, give reasons. Why is it important? Why is it needed? The LIC, so ours is Brazil. So trade, that is exporting goods, selling goods, and buying goods, so importing goods. And other countries, the one we're going to look at is China. Why is it good for NEs such as Brazil to trade with countries such as China? This is a six part question, so data, examples, geography words, place names, include those. That's AO1 and explain and AO3. Here's your structure. So follow this and you'll be absolutely fine. Pause here, glance through this. This is your structure. Introduction, paragraph one. Explain why it's important to trade with other Mercosur countries. Mercosur is just a trading group in South America, a little bit like the EU. For European countries. Paragraph 2. Explain the importance of trade links with the USA, maybe China, and your conclusion include the words significant, important, effective, successful, whichever one is most applicable for you in this. Here's the space that you would have to answer this, so not a lot of space, get straight in there to answer the question. As ever, level 1, level 2, level 3. Level 1 is basic understanding, level 2 is clear understanding, and level 3 is a detailed understanding. Here's an example of an answer. Uh, we've probably put a little bit too much in here, but that's absolutely fine. It just gives you a range of ideas about what you could include. Um, if you took out one of the peel paragraphs, I think you'd probably be absolutely fine. Uh, so here's the answer. Yours might look a little bit different, and that's okay too. Global trade links are vitally important to support the development of any NEE. This is no different from my chosen NE of Brazil. Brazil has important trade links with several, several countries in the Mercosur group, as well as in the wider world, such as USA and China. In previous years, Brazil has had strong relationships with Mercosur countries in South America. 
Brazil exported many primary goods, so raw materials such as meat, to these countries and became its strongest and largest member. However, a knock-on effect of this growth has meant that Brazil now needs to seek trade relationships with more developed countries to continue its own development. Countries within the Mercosur group can also not afford to buy the secondary goods that Brazil is now looking to support or export to other countries. This is significant as it has led to the trade developments to USA and China. Within Brazil, the company of Vale exports 50% or 180 million tonnes of iron ore to China. This trade has resulted in close economic links between China and Brazil. A knock-on effect of this is the creation of a £20 billion trading strategy. This is significant to support future trading links and to support not only further development in Brazil, but also in China as well. Funding generated from this trade deal will have knock-on effects in improving services such as education and healthcare in Brazil. That benefits the local people. In conclusion, it's clear that in order for people in Brazil to continue its growth, as an NEE, it will need trade links on a global scale. At the current time, the most significant trade link between, between Brazil and China is the shared £20 billion trading pot. This will lead to a positive impact on Brazil's economy and offer funding for development of services such as healthcare. Here we've got the AO1s, AO2s, AO3s. So we've got lots of uh, data examples, place names, we've got lots of development and also AO3s, there's lots of significance in there. So significant but halfway down in the green, a significant and in your conclusion, a significant. And you can see there your introduction, your peel one, your peel two and your conclusion. The next question, we've got the assessment objectives. We've talked through these before. Pause here if you need to see them again. The next question is a to what extent question. So we're going to look at either 60% or 40%. Which one do you agree with? So don't forget to look at your first paragraph, which is your introduction. Get straight in there. Your first peel paragraph support your decision. Your next peel par paragraph supports your decision. Then your next peel paragraph, look at the opposite side, your negative decision. There's another point of view. So give that and then wait up in your conclusion. Feel free to use the multi-tool structure, that's absolutely fine. If the extended questions confuse you, just do this all the time and that's absolutely fine. It won't get you top marks, but it'll get you somewhere close. Here's the multi-tool structure. So on the right hand side, you can see, introduce, give a positive, give a negative, make a decision. So to what extent have the political and trade relationships of your chosen ally CNE influenced economic change. So state, is it a small extent, is it a large extent? Give a number, maybe out of 10 or a percentage ideally. The political, so links with Mercosur countries, links with USA, links with China. Economic change, so money, trade, business. And our RIC, NEE, is Brazil. So Brazil is an NEE, a newly emerging economy. Of course, it's nine more questions. Include those things in the blue box. This is your structure, so introduce, so to a small or to a large extent, and then name your country. Firstly, explain the reason. Secondly, give your other reason. And then paragraph three, give the other point of view. It says optional, but actually do put it in there. And finally, your conclusion. This is the amount of space you'd have to write. It's not a lot of space for a nine mark question. You might have one or two lines extra, but if you can get your answer in that box, that'd be absolutely perfect. Level one, level two, and level three. Level one is basic, level two is clear, level three is detailed. Again, this is quite a lot in here, and we've put a lot in here so you can see the range of information that you could include. And if you took out one or two bits, one or two sentences in here, you'd still be absolutely fine. So I believe to a large extent that political and trade relationships have influenced the economic change experienced across Brazil. Brazil first gained economic trade through trading relationships built with the Mercosur countries across South America. 
Throughout this relationship, Brazil was able to export large amounts of primary goods, so raw materials such as soybeans. A knock-on effect of this was large economic growth for Brazil, and then it becoming the largest and strongest member of the Mercosur group. This is important as it led to Brazil seeking further global trade relationships to continue economic growth. A second trade relationship with China through the export of iron ore has led to a joint trading pot of about $20 billion. This means that further economic growth can be obtained for both Brazil and China. This is significant economic change to support the development of services in Brazil such as education and the road networks. However, some people argue that economic change through these relationships is not always positive. Some argue that with high value trading relationships, decision making in a country can be influenced by another country. Further to this, some of the economic growth is due to the investment of TNCs, so the decisions or the profits from these companies can often be sent to the host country. This is important as Brazil may experience lower levels of economic change than expected. Therefore, resulting in less money to develop services such as education. In conclusion, to a large extent, it can be seen that Brazil has benefited from a global political and trading relationship. The most significant relationship that's being with China and the creation of the $20 billion trading strategy. This will bring huge economic change to fund local services such as healthcare within Brazil and that benefits local people. You can see there's a lot of similarities between this question and the previous question. A lot of the information is transferable and that's absolutely fine so long as it answers the question. So here's the AO1s, AO2s, AO3s. AO1s in pink, AO2s in orange, AO3s in green. There's lots of stuff in there. At least a third or half of the words are identified as meeting the assessment objectives. And there's your introduction. Two peel paragraphs to support what your viewpoint is. A negative, there's another point of view. And finally, your conclusion.